What you saw is exactly how that air crate is going to operate. You're going to get the nose off the ground. It's going to get into the air just a little bit. It's going to try to climb, but as soon as it gets out of ground effect, it's going to come right back down into the ground effect. And if there's a building in front of it, it's going to hit it. So we don't train for that because it's not, but could, could they have hit the brakes after V1? Yes, they could have, but they're not trained to do that. And they would have for certain gone off the runway in that scenario this one they were hoping to get airborne it didn't work out but that's that's a great question it's very insightful all right um i got the h and l mike uh, 3589 writes just a query uh wouldn't the tower be watching the takeoff roll and maybe see something amiss in radio and alert so they could attempt to abort before v1 i don't think anything happened before v1 i think this whole thing happened after v1 but imagine the time frame that that takes Towers out there looking. Let's say they're right on top of it. They see something happen to the left engine. A little flame or something comes out. They don't know that the airplane's at V1 or not, but let's say they're right on the microphone and they're watching, watching, watching. They see that first little flame come out and they go, UPS 2976, uh, your left engine's on fire, right? At that point, the, the time it would take for that to get to the airplane and the pilots to comprehend it and to analyze what's going on with their airplane and to reject it that's all that's a lot of time <laughs> that's it's too much time they're they're well past v1 at this point and they don't need that one more distraction they get everything they need on the aircraft i can guarantee you as soon as that left engine started to come apart that that cockpit lit up like a christmas tree and the pilots knew it first not because it lit up like a christmas tree they knew it because they heard it that's the, your first indicator of any problem with the engines or the airplane is your ears. That, that left engine starts to come apart and you hear the RPM change immediately, right? And so they go, something's wrong. And they look and the lights all come and they, they feel a little bit of this, right? The airplane starts to lurch to the left. It's like, all right, the pilot puts in right rudder. Co-pilot calls rotate. Pilot pulls back on the nose. All right, come on. Are we going flying? Are we going flying? He's pulling, he's pulling, he's pulling. He can only pull so far. They, get, they start to wallow up in the air. The airspeed starts to bleed off. What the heck? He's got the power pushed up all the way. He's trying to get airborne. He's losing airspeed. Why am I losing airspeed? And then wham, he hits the things. And there's 